Weather describes the atmospheric conditions in an area at a specific time. When we talk about the atmospheric conditions, we're talking about the temperature, the wind speed, the wind direction, precipitation, whether it's raining or snowing, and is it cloudy or is it sunny? So when we describe all of those things for a specific place at a specific time, we're describing the weather. So here you can see three different pictures from specific places on specific days. So in Dallas on August 12, 2005, it was hot and sunny. In Minneapolis on July 29, 2012, it was warm and raining. And in Quebec City on December 15, 2003, it was cold and snowing. These are all descriptions of the weather in these locations on these specific days. When we predict the weather, we are predicting what will happen on a specific day. And another word for prediction is forecast. And so our weather forecast is our prediction of what will happen in the weather on a specific day. So sometimes we even talk about what might happen not just on the day as a whole, but what might happen in the morning, like here, predicting morning fog, or in the evening, maybe there'll be evening showers. And so as we predict what will happen at specific times on specific days, we're predicting the weather. Climate is different than weather. Climate describes the average conditions in an area over a long period of time. And you see these two graphs here. They're about the average temperature and the average monthly precipitation over a 30-year period in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And so these aren't what happened on a specific day. This is an average of what happened over a very long period of time. So when I look at this data, I can see that the highest average temperatures happened in the month of July. That doesn't tell me exactly what the temperatures will be on any specific days in July, but it does tell me that I can expect July to be a very warm month. And as I look at the other bar graph about precipitation, I can see that May and October have experienced the most rain over the last 30 years. Once again, that doesn't tell me what days it's going to rain next May or next October, but it does tell me that I should expect more rain in those months next year than I'll probably get in August or December. Decades of data are averaged together to describe an area's climate, and 30 years is standard. And these two graphs are actually the temperature range and monthly precipitation averages over a 30-year period. Big Bend National Park is a national park that's found in Texas. The climate at Big Bend is one of hot summers, mild winters, and low rainfall. So once again, I'm not talking about what's going to happen on specific days when I'm talking about climate. I'm just talking about general trends over time. And if you go to Big Bend in the summer, then you should expect it to be pretty hot. If you go there in the winter, then you should expect it to not get too cold. And you should expect little rainfall throughout the year. And here is a graph that shows both the average temperature and the average precipitation in Big Bend National Park over a 30-year period. From this, I can see that June will probably be the warmest month and that during the summer is when the most rain will fall in this area. So here is a short poem to help you remember the difference between weather and climate. The weather can change every weekday or minute, but decades of data are average for climate, and 30 years is standard. So if we're talking about a specific day or time of day and what's happening in the atmosphere then, we're talking about weather. But if we've averaged decades of data, especially 30 years, and we're looking at that average, then we're talking about the climate. So the weather can change every weekday or minute, but decades of data are average for a climate. So I hope this video has helped you understand the difference between weather and climate a little better. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.